Greetings, everyone. Lily Farm Guy here with the new mod test for Thursday, July the 14th. And we have in front of us Small Flatbed Trailer Auto Load Pack by Mac Trucker 921. 14.35 megabytes to download. 10 slots on console because, well, this is uh, if you're familiar with the um, his 30 foot flatbed auto loading trailer uh, this is pretty much as far as I can tell identical it's just a little smaller now first of all let's find it uh, you'll find it under trailers and uh, just like the other one there's basically four versions having all to do with the size and type of bales we have the uh, and they're all the same price they all have exactly the same um, options just this one has the basically loads the mini bales 1.2 meter uh, this one does the uh, square and round bales of the standard size and then the small small flatbed auto load cotton round so it's in the description or it's in the title of the actual trailer they're all under trailers so they're all together like you see here and then there's one that loads square bale cotton so we're just going to go um yeah so it's it's somewhat confusing because they do everything let's go into let's just go into the standard it doesn't really matter actually because here we go um it has a lot of crazy numbers everywhere but 15,500 is your base price and if you get it like this it's basically a flatbed trailer with um, uh, with straps and the like now body configurations as I said you start with the flatbed you get the auto load square and round bales so that is a separate from the flatbed although it looks exactly identical it will now have the auto load for bail function one more over and you get the tipper body the tipper body will hold 24,500 liters and also doubles as a uh, ramped loading trailer as I will show you later so that will hold basically everything except grapes then we go to a log forks which it has straps and has these stanchions for logs and then we have a liquid tank the liquid tank holds all liquids and then you have the spreader addition so the log forks the tipper body yes yeah, so the tipper body is 15 grand log forks 1500 tank is 10 grand uh, the tank holds 25,355 liters if you add the spreaders on the back it'll only hold digestic and slurry at the same amount and the spread width I believe is 18 meters it says there I believe that's correct uh, 14 miles per hour yeah 14 miles per hour yeah that's the uh, working speed of the spreader the slurry spreader right so um, let's start with uh, this <clears throat> as there is they're all kind of all in one except yeah okay so trailer porg lizard we have tire choices uh, these tire choices are good for like any of the models uh, let's see the lizard you can go with wide or standard and uh, everything else is basically that um, so flat frame which is what we have right now flat frame with rear hitch they all have a rear hitch option it's a ball hitch so you can hook them uh, although it shows a ball hitch you can hook these together as uh, there's a pin hitch on the front gooseneck and then gooseneck with rear hitch and then back to the flat frame uh, we'll leave the gooseneck on there cover configuration you can put a cover on it yes or no we'll put the cover on frame color now we have plenty of choices uh, let's make it green so if we go 
so we can see the green uh, the frame is with the uh, regular hitch and the gooseneck body and leg and fork color so we'll make that blue now if we bounce back and forth between tipper and tipper and fork that's what the color changes there there like that and the tank color and tank trim color will well obviously be with the tank now the rim color we have every one of these colors as well we can make it bright green for now la so now let's go back and put the tank on with the uh Ah, uh, yes, so the spreaders uh, take on the color of the frame, just as you see there. Tank color. Uh, right now it's chrome. We can make it um, polished metal. Galvanized is a nice look. Stainless is another look. Or you can just go off the rocker with a red, oh, what's this? Kind of a red metallic. That's a green. There's, they're all over the place. Uh, that one's kind of like a blue. Or you can just make it... Oh, that's a chrome red. Hmm, that's interesting. Ah, how about pink? Ooh, pink chrome. Okay, uh, tank trim color. This is where you can have a little bit of, well, maybe fun perhaps or not. Uh, we can make it purple. Doesn't really stand out. We can make it green and then it has like a metallic green chromey greeny color um yeah so anyways those are your color choices um right so how do they work now this is the one with the uh, baby bale configuration as you can see these are store-bought i have the mod for store-bought mini bales uh, let's see, how many of them can we fit on here? Uh, the description is quite extensive. Um, the bale, bales, uh, 1.8 meter says 16 only. Well, that's odd. Well, I got 16 on there right now. It says 10%. So let's just... Buy a bunch of these and see how many we can hold on there. Uh, let's put our help window on. As you can see, they just kind of... stack very nicely it's we're only at 64 percent we can buy we can buy a bunch more i guess um so like i said i thought this was this trailer was released back in February, but it didn't have all these auto load functions. There we go. 150 of the mini, the baby bales, as you see here. So that's quite a bit. Now, uh, to un, uh, to transporting, yes, we're in transporting, unloading, triangle, and then we move it over, and then triangle again. And it drops down now uh, we can have the ramps so you can it doubles as a uh, as a flatbed and you can have uh, the belts too so uh, close ramps L1 and up on the d-pad tucks them away like so The uh, round bale and square bale trailer uh, operates exactly alike. We have lights, kind of a little bit. The reverse lights are on; they're just kind of brighter when you when you reverse. Now the tipper, and we'll try to go through these fairly quickly. Uh, the 
open cover uh, left on your d-pad as usual i have 24,500 liters of rocks in here we're going to show you the the uh the tipping action and like so pretty standard And once it's empty, you can use it as, um, let's see, once it's down, go L1 and X, and it will open the doors and put out the ramps, and you can put something in there. Actually, as a matter of fact, with the 30-foot one, I drove a vehicle in there and then filled it with rocks or stones or whatever. <laughs> so you can do it double duty. It's pretty silly, actually. Right, so. So far, everything pretty standard. Um, no surprises. As I said, it is like it's it is identical to the 30 foot one uh, just this one's a bit smaller so this is just the regular tank I will show you what goes in here and then we'll skip over to the field where I've had the spreader working right so here we go slurry herbicide liquid fertilizer digestate water milk slurry yes yeah, so if we fill it with liquid fert it holds the uh, 25 355 you don't have to open it or anything it just automatically fills now if we go here we will show you the rate of emptying and it's not too bad not super fast but not crazy so let's go over to here so this uh as you can see it's had a little bit at the end a little bit of missing spots also oh this is the gooseneck one with the gooseneck one trailer you have uh l1 and r1 you have an adjustment at the gooseneck where you will see all of these adjustments on everyone as you can see l1 the right stick left right up and down is for the uh bales it doesn't do anything when you have a tank on there however l1 and r1 when you have a gooseneck you can raise uh, you're supposed to be able to raise and lower. Oh, now it doesn't... Oh, this one doesn't do that. No. Oh. What does it do? Hmm. Oh, that's how... It, that's what they usually do. Okay, it doesn't do anything at all. All right, so never mind that. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's not functioning. If I set a worker off, here's your spread, but it has a little bit of overlap. Not a crazy amount of overlap, but it does. Uh, but it does have a nice uh, spread width. And the capacity, it doesn't run out immediately. I've got two passes. Three will probably make it to four. Maybe not quite four passes until it's empty. And we'll see here, you'll see it stops like so, and it'll leave those little bits at the uh, at the end. So not ideal, but um, it is what it is. All right, so one final uh, thing. I don't have any logs, but um, there is a log. And of course, with with these... You just need, uh, well, aside from the bale size. So the only reason you'd need more than one trailer, really, is if you are if, if you were doing cotton bales along with straw bales, like uh, round bales and square bales, or you have some mini bales. And so if you have any combination of cotton, regular size bales, or mini bales, you're going to need more than one trailer. However... If you are only doing square and regular size square and round bales, you only need one trailer for all of these because you can go 
into your repair area and swap out the tipper you can swap in and there you can swap in a tank as i showed you with the options so it's very uh very usable and uh you know versatile in that respect this one has the straps so basically uh let's see do we have a ramp no it takes away the ramp uh option but it still has all those other you know weird bell bail handling things except for the auto load trigger so basically the log trailer is the stanchions on the flatbed and oh yes the the hitch so if you do have uh, you can string these things together as many as you want uh, especially with the bale if uh, if you want to get a, a few of these and and have them as like a bale train uh, well for some reason I didn't put a hitch on this one well poo poo on me this one does sorry bear with me when you have this many options they're all over the place um, so it is really a trailer of many faces so if we back up here just show you that it does connect together and there so you could have uh, you know three four I've had three of them together collecting bales you can have four or five however many you can pull it's just switching between each trailer and that's about it so uh, as far as i can tell they all work um as they should uh it's as i said it's pretty much a mm, small version of his other one he's uh this is by uh, mac trucker 921 this is a small flatbed trailer auto load pack 14.35 megabytes to download there are only 10 slots each for the first one i'm lonely farm guy and remember it's only a game, so till next time, bye for now.